to the knockoff food chains of Iceland, starting with two guys? This burger costed $20.90. Bro, oh, wait, it's actually really good. This is actually better than Five Guys, but it was 20 bucks. We're gonna be ranking each food item starting from F tier to S tier, rounding one as the number one knockoff food chain in Iceland. We're starting off with a strong A tier here, but I know that there's gonna be better. I also know there's gonna be way worse. This is not tasting good. Let's go to the next place. We're here with Kina Panda. Generous portion right here. Normally at home, Panda Express is about $9. This was only $14 and you get like a good amount. Like, I'm, I kinda have high hopes. Okay, let's get a taste test. Kina, which translates to China in Icelandic, is better than Panda Express. All the food here is so good. I'm just waiting to run into a terrible one. This is crossing the line! All right, let's start going to the next place. Heading over to our next spot. Let's talk about Kina Panda. Presentation, A plus on the presentation. Taste, taste was fine, you know? It wasn't bland. Price, price was good. I am going to be putting Kina Panda on the beats here. I just wish it was a little more tasty. Here we've got the frap. Let's look at the packaging. Chocolate drizzle all over. Presentation is looking good. We all know, taste is king. Well, firstly, presentation, not too shabby. I like the presentation. Taste is amazing. Every single time I come here, it is good. Starbucks is already overpriced, right? For $4.50, you're treating yourself, but $9, bro? This is just an economical mistake. I just can't get over it. C tier. All right, let's go to the next place. Now, instead of the 7-Eleven, we have the 10-Eleven. At the time, I could not expect what was going to go down at this 10-Eleven. I grabbed a burger, I grabbed a milkshake, and then I made my way to the checkout. That's when these two Two little kids came up to me because they recognized me. Well, what's your name on TikTok? Wait, let me look at your searches, bro. What do you, what do you got in there, bro? But this interaction couldn't have taken a worse turn than it did. These kids were seemingly nice. They said they do graffiti, and they took me to an area where they do graffiti. This right here? Yeah. All right, all right, go ahead. Put Try and TV, bro. <laughs> That's from <where I'm> putting <laughs> Yo! I thought everything was gonna be good until this happened. Can I be in the video? Can I please be in the video? Can I be in the video? They continued to follow me for minutes, it seemed like. And then when I got to my car, they went behind my car and I heard a sound. Wait, he's taking a picture. I saw them in the rear view mirror taking a picture of my license plate. My filmer didn't get this, but one of them came up to me and said, he took a picture of your license plate so I can see you again. That is not okay. If I see you in person, please come up to me. Please introduce yourself. I fucking want to meet you guys. But it left a sour taste in my mouth. It's the next day and it's time to prepare our meal. So let's slam this into the microwave. Dude, that 1011 thing was really weird. Those people that were following us, they haven't gone to us yet but they might be outside who knows we're gonna set this for one minute right here and while we set that let's try out this protein drink all right let's get this yeah it tastes like a protein drink yeah i genuinely didn't really know what to say to those kids as they were following me outside <laughs> don't think about it bro while i was driving they're still following us this kid this little if you're watching this video don't come to my house. What did you guys think of that interaction? Was that weird or were they well within their right? In my opinion, they were not well within their right. Perfection. Let's get a little seat. Take a seat. Take a seat here. We're gonna try this burger out. I'm gonna give it a rating because... That's hot! Oh, that's hot! Should let that shit cool down. You really can't top the convenience, I will say. Taste, it's not that great. Give it a C. Price, I'm gonna give it a B. Presentation, I think we're letting that speak for itself. C tier. What is that? I think I hear something at the door. Stop following me, stop following me. Stop. Not only are we gonna be reviewing the fake food chains of Iceland, we're also gonna be reviewing the real food chains of Iceland. Boom, Domino's baby, let's go. We're gonna be also trying the real food chains that have survived Iceland, okay? It's actually really difficult to own a restaurant out here and we're gonna enjoy our slice outside. Presentation is already looking much better than the last couple of places, but what I'm most looking forward to is the McDonald's of Iceland and it's a dark little secret. I'll explain after I have my first bite. Yo, that's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Before I give you the rating, I'm going to be explaining to you the dark secret of the McDonald's of Iceland. In 1993, Iceland's first McDonald's opened its doors. But unfortunately, about 20 years after that, there was a recession here in Iceland and they had to shut down all the McDonald's. But in the same locations, popped open a new restaurant chain called Metro, which is basically the McDonald's of Iceland. They use the same formulas, they just use locally sourced ingredients. I am so excited to see if it's better or worse 
than American McDonald's. Now, for presentation, this is probably some of the best we've had. I'm gonna be giving it a B plus. Now for taste, taste is king. We're gonna be giving the taste a A. Now, price. I'm gonna be giving it a B, a medium pizza with a drink for $14.50. Placing this as A tier, an actual contender for the top is Domino's, and it's our first real food chain. I wonder if there's gonna be other food chains that will take this one over. Now, to the next location. I'm in the drive-thru. Wait, no, that's not. Oh my God. Look at how long this line is. You're probably wondering, Tristan, what drive-thru are you in? We are in the drive-thru of the only Taco Bell in Iceland. You know, I found it a, oh, Hello. We make it. <laughs> Damn, Icelandic people are amazing. And I'm really hoping that they have Doritos Locos Tacos and a Baja Blast and some nacho fries. If they have nacho fries, bro. Oh. Hi, uh, can I get a three Doritos Locos Tacos? I'm um, sorry, I don't think we have that. Damn. Okay, do you guys have the Baja Blast? Is it the three? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think we have what's on the menu outside. A gordita crunch. Okay, and what soda would you like? Mountain Dew. Only um, seven up. Uh, one soda. Seven up. Now for you. No. That'll be it. Thank, thank okay. you. It will be one thousand seven hundred ninety nine in the next winter. Thank you. Oh my God! Bro, why don't they have the? Why is there not a Baja Blast? No wonder there's only one, and it's mixed with a fucking KFC. Can I get a Pepsi? Can I get a uh, seven up? No, they're saying Baja Black. Oh my god, bro. Here you go. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. They were laughing at me. Ah! $14 for chips and cheese sauce and a taco. This better be a banging ass taco. Is that looking like a $14 bite right there? Well, there's only one way to figure that out. It ain't banging. Guys, this is not, this is not tasting good. The chips and cheese sauce is fine. Presentation. It's not even Taco Bell. <laughs> Food, not starting off strong. Price, who's looking like a D tier, guys. On Taco Bell, I love Taco Bell, bro. Like, I've only ate fast food while I was growing up. This is crossing the line. We're gonna go to the next place. We're gonna hope it's not as disappointing as this. All right, so I'm a little bit nervous about going to this place because I've heard mixed reviews. It tastes like McDonald's, but worse. Three stars. Officially, the worst burger I had, I tried many around the world. One star. Kids are mean and spoiled play area, way too small. Two stars. What is this? <laughs> Bro, what is this image that they're using? Shutterstock ass image. Here we are, Metro. Metro, Metro make it boom. <laughs> Metro make it boom. Metro make it boom. <laughs> Hi, do you guys have a Big Mac? Obviously don't have Big Mac, but I have him for the day. Let me get the, uh, yeah, the Florida. Okay. Oh, bro, something else I'm excited to see. Whenever you go to a McDonald's, we all know this, the Sprite, my boy, the Sprite is different at McDonald's. Is that the same here? Because, oh my God, it's like drinking water that was made for God. Wait, isn't that like wine? I'm also excited to see, do they give you that weird spoon that's like hollow? I've never seen it on like a stick. That's good. Thank you. They got the Nalo straw. Is this everything, is this everything? Thank you. This is what we've been waiting for. Let's get into it. Metro's Big Mac, what we've all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Big Mac time. McFlurry. I know this is very climactic, but we need to taste everything before I give my full opinion on Metro. Now, let's start with the presentation. Presentation, it's not bad, but it's not good. Price, it was in total 25 bucks for a Big Mac and a McFlurry. Guys, the taste, it was, uh. 
it was all right. I am so sad to say it because I feel like there's a clear gap in the food tier list right now. Is what you would say until you find out that we're going to a secret location where we have to drive two hours away to get to. I'm going to be placing Metro on the C tier. God can only hope that this secret place pulls out ahead and wins the food tier list for Iceland. I guess we're gonna have to find out because we got one more place before we go to the secret place. Get the shot! KFC! Usually, if I'm going to KFC, I like getting a famous bowl, but it's looking like a similar case with the Taco Bell where they don't f***ing have everything that they need. Can I get like a two-piece? Let me also get a gravy. 1,497, you can pull up to the next window. Thank you. Back home, this is gonna cost about like $5. Here, 10 bucks. Okay, everything here is double the price, bro. Like, it's so expensive to live here. No wonder everyone here looks so f***ing sad all the time. <laughs> Did I scare you? Stop! You're gonna make me crap! Last time, I spilt my drink that I had. So. This time, let's make it a goal. I'm not gonna spill it as they turn it around. <laughs> what? Okay, there we go. Thank you. We didn't spill it. All right, guys, let's get into this KFC. Two pieces of chicken. Those are some decent chicken. It's finger licking good. It's finger licking good. It's finger licking good. Guys, it's actually really good. Like, the price is a little egregious, but the taste is amazing. The packaging, are you joking me? This is pristine right here. I'm gonna put this on the A tier. Definitely a contender for number one fast food chain in Iceland. It's not like I'm like dining well here though. So maybe I have like a pretty, did you just shake? <laughs> you shift. Okay, you stay right there. You stay right there! Genuinely, that was really good. So uh, let's start going to the next location, guys. That wide shot where you're like, it's KFC! Get the shot! KFC! I think I was busting my pussy for that shot. I was busting my <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Why does everyone here kind of almost look like my dad? Yeah! Damn, no, don't show. Got some ass. Yo, you can't include that, you can't. All right guys, we're off to the secret location. We're gonna be trying the item that everyone raves over, the item that everybody hypes over. So yeah, let's go see what the, let's go see what the hype is about. Thank you. These look insane, bro. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Whoa! Hybrid system stopped. Put, stop. Stop yelling! What is actually going on? I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out! Yo, dude, that was actually scary. See y'all out there. Oh my god. I'm so snatched. Oh my god, bro. So, I've been looking forward to- Oh, perfection! Holy perfection! That's the perfect spot, bro. Dude, most average scenery in Iceland. What? This is nuts. Come sit! It makes me feel like everything's gonna be okay. We've got this amazing hot dog right here. It's got the cheese melted on top. They cut it, they deep fry it, then they put fry seasoning, they put fry, and then they also put the hamburger seasoning on it as well. You guys, we have this beautiful view. We have this beautiful hot dog. Let's take a bite. This hot dog was about $6. Packaging, we could be doing better on the packaging. Price, six bucks for a hot dog. Come on, you know, it's a little expensive. But taste, bro, this is easily the best, bro. This, ladies and gentlemen, is S tier. Our number one, right here. Look at the view. Nothing can top this, bro. Probably top three moments I've ever had in my life. The cameraman is getting a little taste. No, no. <laughs> yes, I feed you. I feed you. Stop. What do you think? Okay, you gotta hold it. You get. Uh, oh no, 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 no. You're going. That was amazing. <laughs> I know, right? Like I can't stress it enough. This is easily the best fast food chain in Iceland. S tier, number one winner. Subscribe! Attention seeking <laughs> ass birds. These birds want to be main characters so bad, it's embarrassing. Try to throw like a bread piece up. They're not gonna catch it in the middle of- Oh, I wanna try at least. Mm. Oh my god, he did! Oh my god, he did! I swear no, I got on camera! Come on! Yep. Come on, get it! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no, they actually did! What the I f***? Told you. <laughs>